Why? Get away from me! Let me guess, you're from Texas or Utah? My, my grandma owns the Pink Palace. I'm surprised she let you move in. She doesn't rent to people with kids. What do you mean? I'm not supposed to talk about it, but I'm Wybie. Coraline. Coraline Jones. I almost fell down a well today, Mom. Uh-huh. I could have died. That's nice. Hey, Dad, what are you doing? Dad, 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 Dad. You know, you know, this house was built 150 years ago. So? So explore it. Count every door and window in this house and write that down. List everything that's blue, just let me work. Same without you, kiddo. I thought that once you finish eating, we'd play a game. That was so fun! See you soon. <sighs> Great, the village stalker. <laughs> you know, I've never been in the Pink Palace before. My grandma says it's dangerous. Why? When they were kids, my grandma's sister went missing. She said she was stolen. Stolen? Wobble! I gotta go. cleaning up while you and your friend head upstairs. My friend? Great, another YB. Hello. I thought you'd like him a little more if he spoke a little less. So I fixed him. Hmm, I like it. like it here, don't you, Coraline? Uh-huh. You could stay here forever, if you want to. Really? There's only one little thing we need to do first. No way! I'm not letting you sew buttons in my eyes! I, I'm, I'm going to bed! Don't drop, no! 
go to sleep, go to sleep. I'm going home tonight, and I won't be back. I want to see my real mother and father. I want you to let me leave. Is that any way to speak to your mother? You're not my mother. Apologize now. No. I will give you until the count of three. One, two, Who are you? I don't remember our names. What are you all doing here? The Beldum. Cried on our lives and saw that we weren't happy. He lured us away with treasures and treats and games to play. Just all that we asked, and yet we still wanted more. So we let her sew the buttons. You can't keep me in here forever. Not if she wants a chance at winning my life. Beating her is my only chance. Can you find our eyes? Find our eyes, Grace, and our souls will be free. I'll try. Shh. Mom? Dad? She's taken them. There's only one thing left to do. My parents. Gosh, I have no idea where your old parents are. You stole them. Why don't we play a game? I know you like them. Everybody likes games. What kind of game? It could be an exploring game or a finding things game. And what is it that you'd be finding, Coralfin? The eyes of the ghost children. If I lose, I'll stay here with you forever and let you sew buttons in my eyes. And if you somehow win this game, then you let me go. You let everyone go. Everyone you trapped here. Deal. process been with these actors? Great question. Um, it's been... Well, she can't keep me in forever. Not if she wants a chance at winning my life. I'll be here forever. She can't keep me in here forever. Not if she wants to... Why are you laughing? She can't keep... Well, she can't keep me in for... She can't keep me in forever. Not if she wants a 
<laughs> Sorry. You can't keep us in. <laughs> Perhaps if you do, fuck, what is it? Look, I'm just here for my paycheck. I won't be answering any questions. I was just made aware that I will not be getting a paycheck for this. So don't ask me any questions unless it's, why did I volunteer for this? So what character do you play in the film? Uh, ghost child number one. Uh, uh, the, the file says you're actually number two. You already gave me the shittiest role and I can't be number one. Uh, I'm ghost child number one. What's your favorite thing about working on set? Um, sometimes if you come early, there's donuts. So, um, so what do you think this film brings to both high and lowbrow arts? <laughs> what a stupid question. Obviously, this film must be adversarial. This type of film must subvert or go against the expectations of mainstream culture. Um, what, is, what does that mean? So, what character did you play in the film? I played the father and the other father in the film. Very nice, very nice. And what do you think makes the film so terrifying? Oh, you know, you know, the film makes me think of like zombie movies and stuff. Like how the zombies are usually presented as representations of culture anxieties and the times they're like presented in. You know what I mean? I mean, like, uh, like, how do you, how, how, how is that conveyed? Yeah, um, I, I, I don't know. That's probably not right at all. I was just kind of guessing because I, I couldn't tell you. I'm sorry. I don't know. What was it like playing the other mother? Oh, well, I take all of my roles very seriously. The most exciting element of playing the other mother was this body horror element and this transformation from this other mother who's sweet yet like secretly disturbing into this spider-like monster weaving a web of destruction with her needle and thread. Uh, the mutation and this use of body horror really allow for this subversion of the other mother to be easily conveyed. So when the crew showed me my dramatic transformation, I was a little, uh, I was a little disappointed with the, uh, with the outcome. Yeah, I mean, so obviously some of the actors were a little disappointed that there wasn't much of a spectacle with regard to the, to the horror element of the film, but they aren't realizing that the button eyes themselves are a subversion, a very mutation of the human being. I don't even think she knows our names. Okay, uh, uh, Bell Dam Lady, that was, that was perfect. Yeah, just, uh, just do it again, one more time, and, uh, change everything about it. Cool. So, what's it like working with the director on the set of Rairo Films? She's very nice. I said, play in the grass. And what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> no! You're a child! You're a child! I'm a child! Um, patient. No! No! This scene is supposed to pervert the idea of humanity! Take five. Some might say soft spoken. This is a destruction of the nuclear family! Do it again! With more pizzazz! Cut, cut! Oh my god, Jesus! She's a bit of a perfectionist. No. <laughs> Stay right here. I'm gonna show you how to be a proper stalker. Oh, you brought you
sleepy bag because we're gonna be here all night! You're not my mother. Oh, uh, you know... You know, my phone locked. <laughs> <laughs> And then you come out on the other side! <laughs> when she goes around exploring all night, oh, wait, I thought that was wrong. Right. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> no! You are! Quiet on set. <laughs> Quiet!